With the release of Windows 11 coming soon this year, Microsoft is planning on releasing a bunch of redesigns for some of their core system apps, including OneNote, Notepad, and even Paint. So let's talk and look at some of those leaks that came out for them. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Kwaku here, bringing you another video here. Again, we are talking about the potential or pretty much at this point, their confirmed redesigns of various applications. Now, I have a list here and it's a list of some of the applications I've seen so far of the leaks that have come out or what Microsoft has teased. We have Paint, OneNote, Photos, Calculator, Office, which includes obviously Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, we have Outlook, we have Notepad, and obviously with Office, we also include that Office Launcher application that shows you all of your application and lets you launch each one of your Office programs from it if you choose. Uh, so, so far I've seen all of those things in leaks and that's what this video is for. So let's turn to my computer and look at some of the photos that I've dug up about those leaks. All right, so for starters, we're taking here a look at, this was, I believe on unsplash.com, uh, basically a stock image website. Uh, the Windows team has a profile on there. And with that, they look to be, have shared um, just a, like a, a snippet or a close up of the new paint application. You can already tell that things look pretty familiar. If you're familiar with how Office works currently and how the ribbon interface looks on Office, paint looks like it's kind of picking up the same thing because one, uh, you, the way you know this is also a redesign if you're not, if you haven't touched paint in a while is that one, they're running Windows 11 in this picture, at least the beta version in this picture. And two, uh, the paint colors that you normally pick are usually not up top. They're usually down the side like they've always been in squares. Now everything is more round in circles with the paint uh, swatches and things like that. So you can see that this is what they're uh, associating as essentially so far the new paint that will be coming later this year to Windows 11, hopefully to an insider build so I can actually check it out. Um, obviously, I think paint, you can also get it on the Microsoft Store. I'm not sure, I believe. Um, someone will confirm it. I'm sure I'll confirm it afterwards. But this application is getting a redesign and it's, it's pretty nice to see it because it's been a long time since paint has gotten a redesign. Um, and I think it's well deserved. One of the earliest application that Microsoft ever had in Windows. So let's move on to the next one and see what comes next. So the next one here is looks like photos. So this is the photos refresh. And as you can see there, uh, it does have the photos icon there. It's running Windows 11 on an Acer tablet as well, um, or Acer laptop as well, 360, um, two in one. And you can see that they have the latest controls for one UI or win UI rather, uh, where you got some more floating controls, some more, it looks kind of iOS ish, I gotta say, but I like the look at this currently so far. In fact, the application we're using to show you guys these images is actually photos as well. And I'll tell you, it does not look like this at all. Uh, it looks far different. Um, obviously we're in full screen, so we get a little less controls. So let's move on to the next one. This one is another close up of the corner of paint. So you can see uh, the paint icon right there. You can see what we saw in the last photo. I'm not sure if this is gonna fall through because right now it doesn't look like there's a major highlight or darkened area when you're highlighting over it, like file or view or whatever. I'm sure they'll change that, but so far this is what has been leaked out for it. And then another thing for the leaks, we also have the latest version of Notepad getting redesigned as well. You can see it's kind of following the same scheme, overall general design UI as PowerPoint, OneNote, Excel, all those things. In fact, I'll show you OneNote in a little bit. Um, just like paint, it's getting that everything is up top, the file view, edit, and all that stuff. The, the menus are up on top. You got the, there's no bar on Notepad, luckily, um, because there's no bar on Notepad as a whole. But if there was, you can tell that it would pretty much be there. One thing I can notice with this between PowerPoint and paint is that uh, PowerPoint allows this rounding here around where the undo is and like the ribbon for that. Um, but paint looks like it just goes straight across. I'm not sure if that's gonna change or not. Hopefully this isn't finalized because I think they need to make a decision whether or not uh, it's gonna be like this, how it is on Word or in PowerPoint and Excel, or if it's gonna be like this on uh, paint. Because as you know, I have taken a look at the latest redesigns of 
PowerPoint, Excel, and Word already on this channel as a previous video. Um, and uh, so it looks like that interface here is more finalized versus this is not even out yet. So hopefully they change that when it comes to us. But yeah, this is Notepad as well. Let's move on to the next one. So this, this was from uh, Windows Central. This is obviously you see Zach Bowden right there. Um, this is what Microsoft uh, claimed to be the one the one outlook or that one outlook application that they want to have um, i'm not sure if this is the exact picture because it doesn't say it this time around but essentially if this is the one outlook i might be wrong on this uh in fact this looks exactly like the current outlook so that's kind of strange but we're getting a one outlook application that's pretty much all you really have to see um i'll pull up an actual one outlook picture if i find it but so far uh this is what i found so far on the web as of recording this if i find another one i'll definitely insert it into the video overlapping this one uh going to the next one zooming in a lot this is one that's not too clear but you can see this is the new OneNote. As you know, they have two versions of OneNote. They have the OneNote for Windows 10, and then they have OneNote, which is like that UWP OneNote. And uh, it's kind of dumb why they have two of them. Uh, don't know why. One of them is far easier to use, uh, far simpler controls, but they're merging them together. So this is apparently uh, a leak of what one outlook, or sorry, one note is gonna look like. All the ones are confusing me. Uh, so it's gonna have the similar Microsoft Office looking ribbon style interface up top. Um, it still has the familiar main meat of the interface that is your notebooks and things like that, that OneNote provides. I hope to try it out because I actually use OneNote a ton. Um, all the videos that I talk about, I start off in OneNote when I'm kind of jotting down my ideas for them. You got the universal search up top and that searches all of your notebooks. Um, in this application, just like in all the other applications, which is what brings me to saying that the Outlook uh, picture that I showed you previously, I don't believe that's the, actually the one. I think I picked the wrong one. But going back to the next image here, if there's another one, no, there's no other one. So, so those are currently the leaks that I had found so far for, you know, leaks that are coming out and the redesigns for the applications. We're getting paint, we're getting notepad, uh, we're getting a new photos application. We are getting, you know, light and dark team theme for photos. Um, we're getting quite a few different things here. And it's just interesting to see. In fact, here's another picture of the light theme for photos. As you can see, it looks pretty good. In fact, now that you're seeing it zoomed out for me, uh, you can see how paint or sorry, photos looks like right now with how my controls are up top here and the edit and create and share is up here. Um, now it's gonna be down there and it's gonna be just far simpler. And you'll actually be able to see the pictures you're selecting. Whereas right now, I'm not able to even see what pictures I have in this list of pictures that I'm scrolling through. I can only kind of just see what's here. So as you can see, I hit the keyword, you hear me. Uh, I'm not able to see much. In fact, if we zoom in here, one thing that I'm noticing right now is a picture that didn't show up before. This is a mock-up for OneNote. And this is the one we just talked about. But if I zoom out and then I go to the next picture, here's another one for OneNote. Um, I guess it's when you collapse the ribbon, but I don't see any interface here for collapsing the ribbon or anything like that. So I wonder how you do that. But I kind of like this one a whole lot more. I hope this is an option for an interface that we can have. Maybe they have multiple interfaces. Maybe they have a comfort mode and then maybe they have like a, a productive mode or whatever they choose to call it, just like they have for Edge when you're first booting it up. But I kind of like this one note more. So overall, other than the Outlook one that I'm not sure, I don't think that one is actually the latest. I don't think that's the redesigned Outlook. I think that's still like the current one. Could be wrong. I don't really use Outlook on desktop, but the rest of these things look pretty good, especially photos, especially OneNote. Those are the ones I'm looking forward to the most because I use those the most. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all these leaks and uh, all that stuff. Are you excited to try them out? Um, I know there's going to be people hating on the different designs because it's getting too complex or it's changing too much. But if technology never changes, someone's going to complain that it's been the same for a long time. And now and then when someone comes out of the blue and changes something, uh, then the predecessor suffers a lot, AKA Intel with AMD. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. My name is Kwaku and I will catch you guys another day.